Let's talk about setting up employees. To set up an employee, come here under the Maintain pull-down menu and come down to Employees. The first thing we do is assign an employee ID. You want to use an ID system that works for you and your company. We simply like to use the first initial and then the last name with a dash 01 at the end in case we get someone with the same name then we could do a dash 02 for the second person. Next, let's talk about these three choices over here, employee, sales rep, and both. Notice when we click on sales rep, withholding information goes away. We click on employee and now we have the withholding information again. We have the same information when we click on both. John is an employee, so we're going to select employee. You can use the inactive box to indicate employee has left or been terminated. Next, fill in the name box and then come down to the general tab. Let's complete the address information for John. John lives at 7219 St. Thomas Boulevard in San Jose, California. Next, we give John his W-4 and ask him to complete it for his payroll withholding information. Here is the retirement plan. If we're going to offer a retirement plan, we'll want to check this box. We do not offer a retirement plan. Here, John is married and he has four allowances that he has indicated on his Form W-4. So we complete this section for both federal, state, and local. Next, here is the 401k percentage withholding that we offer for our employees. Here we enter the percentage that John wants withheld from his payroll checks to be contributed to his 401k. Over here, let's put in John's social security number directly from his form W-4. Next, let's go to the Custom Fields tab and let's fill in the custom field information for John. John is our new sales manager. His date of birth is July 5th, 1971. and let's fill in the remaining three fields here. Down below in the lower left hand corner we want to indicate his hire date. So we have good information here right within Peachtree related to John so we can look up this information here quickly and easily without having to run over to the filing cabinet. John was hired on March 12th. We'll leave last raise and terminated blank. Now let's go to the Pay Info tab. The Pay Info tab has a lot of options we want to discuss here. First, let's look at Pay Method. We'll click on the drop down arrow here and see that we have choices for 
salary, hours, and time and billing hours. John is on salary, so we're going to select salary. Down here, we put in the salary rate, which is his gross check that he's going to receive for each payroll time period. Next, let's look at the Employee Fields tab. And all looks complete here. And the Employer Fields tab. Normally, you don't have to do anything on these tabs. Let's go back to the Pay Info and talk about it some more. Here, let's select Hours. You can note that once we select Hours, we also want to select the frequency of the pay. You'll see once we select this, Peachtree drops in 88 hours for a semi-monthly time period. Here we want to put in his regular rate, and we can put it in an overtime rate, as well as a special rate. Now, let's go back to s and look at the hourly section one more time. Here you can see hourly time tickets is the same option as the first hourly choice. Let's set John back to salary at 1500 And now John is set up. We want to save his record. And with now we can run a payroll check for John. Let's come out of the Tasks pull-down menu and let's come down to Payroll Entry. Let's bring John in to the Employee ID field. And you can see that his gross salary here of 1500 and all of his deductions over here on the right. Employer matching contributions are down here at the bottom right hand corner, the bottom five lines. Here are his deductions. If we needed to edit his record, we can drill down right there from the payroll check screen and come right into his record if we need to look something up for example we're going to close this without saving it John is all set up and ready to be a part of our next payroll run when you set up an employee we recommend doing just like we just did where we went in and, and ran a payroll check just to make sure that everything was set up and looked right you can run a payroll check right up on the screen and then just not save it so that your general ledger has not been updated for the example check that you were looking at for your new employee.